Hello. We finally reemerged. Marge reemerged. Reemerged from my within period. <coughs> <coughs> I just came out of a software upload. I hear it's National Wine Day. I'm gonna have to go up and see my friend Tammy. This is my wine today, grape juice. God damn. I freaking love fruit. Even though it's concentrate, but it kind of coincides with the energies that we're feeling right now are pretty fucking concentrate. I've had more. Was it yesterday or the day before? Was that yesterday or the day before? It was the day before. It was just a freaking bomb bomb bombardment of what the fuck minutes moments. <clears throat> Other people's what the fucks for them and for myself. By like 8 o'clock in the morning a branch just fell from the tree, the birds are throwing them down, and Stanley's out here getting his cat time in, and Luna's spectating as well. You know, I spend a lot of time watching animals in nature. I watch a lot of nature shows. I learn about, I read a lot about totem animals and things like that, and what, what animals represent in the animal kingdom, and As many bursts of technology starting, you know, starting back from freaking that humanity's had from the industrial age, and now we're having another collective freaking technological burst with all the advancements in AI and physical advancements, and hopefully all of our brothers and sisters that are confined to the, the chair will one day get to walk again with all of these advancements. But at the same time, people forget. That we are just fucking animals with, with thumbs, no different than, than the animals that stalk their prey. The only difference between us and animals is very few animals, unless they're riddled with disease, maliciously attack for no apparent reason. When an animal kills, it's to eat. That's pretty much the only reason it kills. Animals don't kill for fun. Yet we're supposed to be the most advanced being on this planet. And yet we can't figure that and up until this point more and more people are waking up to this idea of no more war considering it's Memorial Day this weekend. Stop making veterans stop wars. There's, your wars are bullshit. That is that people forget that we have the capacity. We are the ones that are supposed to be the keepers and the protectors and the guides. Um, the the keep the the protectors of the planet. Yet we have been the biggest cancer of it, or the ones that have controlled that sit in the live vibration of greed and control. Thank God it's dying. If some of my history <clears throat> between everyone is coming is getting smacked in the face of the realization of their history, whether you know they're waking up to stuff in this incarnation, previous incarnations, it, it matters not. Some have some are waking up to the realization of so many incarnations, incarnations that this is going to be their last one on earth. That's why this all this shit is so rad right now. Anyway, I mean, I, 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 there's one person on this earth that, that thinks ill of me, that I, I, I know of, that, that matters. There were two. Anyway. <coughs> um, and there is, there's a few that I need to make peace with. Well, one of them was marked off my list the day before yesterday, and that was with 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 Greg. 
my biological father may have been a strange more often than not. See, but in this spiritual journey is something that I, I, I've had to learn, and that is to reconcile my light and my dark in myself and in other people. And what happened is I got word that he is going to go under. And any time that anybody goes under, I get scared because it is a crapshoot if they're going to wake up. So, I was informed that he was going under surgery. I think he was having the third hip replaced. I don't know the circumstances. I just knew I was needed to make peace, so I called and conversation was brief, but basically it was, I got to tell him that <clears throat> I recognize all the wonderful traits that I got from him, and I thanked him. And so he went to sleep and woke up. And that was cathartic for me and I'm him too, I'm sure. He's 70, 44, but he still walked out on day two. Most content, that's my gene pool is hardy. He still swims all the time. And His resilience is, I'm proud of that I get that from him. Letta has it too. Anyway, the second aha moment, I've been, you know, it's another case of when the student is ready, the teacher will be revealed. And I've been a studier of astrology since I was as long as I can remember. I've looked at the stars, I've studied the stars, I've been drawn to astrology, I know astrology, I know charts. And the older I get, the more I learn. And it occurred to me when I was sitting here the day before yesterday that I was thinking of the combinations between star signs and cuss. And the telephone game, where you start, one person starts and they whisper in the ear and it goes around the circle and then they reveal what they interpreted and the changes. Pretty, it's pretty funny. It's what it actually. It's fucking but the way people perceive things. Amazing. Anyway, and it occurred to me. So finally, I looked up my brother's birthday, and he, in fact, is a Virgo. Which, for 44 years, I was under the impression that he was a Leo. Nope. Virgo. Now, you, one might think, I'm going to look back at that because I don't know what the hell that was. I saw something. The significance of that is this, is, is, is I've stated before that the astrological, your birth chart is an instruction manual and definitions of who you, or not instruction manual, but it's definitely a dictionary as to who you are, pretty much to a point. Warts and all. Kitty, 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 kitty! Stanley! So, <clears throat> I gotta know what's going on there, jerk. So, uh, kitty, kitty, kitty! You broke the rule. So, um, I don't know. I've had a, I've had a karmic relationship with the Taurus that drug out until it died. Uh, after, like, eight years, I will try anything with slight variances in hoping for a positive outcome. And it just, with that person, I could not have one because it just wasn't supposed to be. My path wasn't that way. So, earth signs, I have, and I don't think I know any Virgo, a very rare Virgo, and whatever, Capricorn, Capricorn, my grandma was a Capricorn, my brother was a Capricorn, I know some, but not a lot. And the funny part about that is, is there's 12 planets in your astrological birth chart, and 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 in my chart I have three air, three water, three fire, or four air, four water, and four fire, and absolutely zero earth. So the fact that he and I are having such a hard time with the way the plant that was not 15 miles an hour. The fact that my that 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 
I have zero Earth in my chart, and then that is his sun sign. It just kind of verifies that how I connect with people is how I relate to them by having similar experiences. And the thing that makes him the most, I have nothing of that in me, so we have no points of reference there. So that, to me, gives me some guidance and teaches me that maybe I need to alter my language a little bit and to be a little to be able to communicate with him more effectively. That I could do more. Yep. And finally, that other story isn't mine to tell, but just let it be a lesson to you. Know that not everyone, people, I'm, I think one of the best things that you can do for yourself and the biggest favors you can do for yourself is knowing that evil exists in this world and how to learn how to recognize that and and just get away from it yeah so in my spirit of in con continuity of declaring that people are being revealed who for who they are it is to be true the good news is a lot of people are coming into union it is helping the collective. It is beautiful. My union is with nature right now. I just try to be in it that we have a we have an understanding. It will keep blooming as long as I do. So I hope you all have a rad day. Peace.